Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next super, super fast, easy craft fair idea. I think this makes number 73, y'all. I've given y'all lots of options to work with. Um, but anyway, I um, decided to make these super sweet magnets. How cute are they? Now, I know I made magnets out of rocks the other day, out of those gemstones. But let me just tell you about this, okay? So, I went to visit my dad last night, and I'm driving back this morning, and I'm coming from East Texas, and I happen to be thinking, okay, what do I want to do on my channel today? Because my husband is working today, so I knew I had a little extra time this afternoon to kind of clean the house and, you know, and do my videos and all that stuff. So anyway, I started thinking, and when I walked into Hobby Lobby, I was gonna get a roll of magnet, like the roll, because I have an idea for that. Um, but anyway, I was walking in there and walking past the Christmas section. On the end cap was some magnets that are like about this size. They had a piece of wood in the center with a sheet of magnet on the back. They're selling them, I believe, for like $3.99, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking it was like $3.99. Y'all, I looked at that and I'm like, that is so cute. And I thought, what are you doing? You can make these yourself. So, I am. The nice thing is, is you can use these cut aparts, and that's what I'm calling these. I'm calling them crafty maggot magnets for the craft fair, but the video is going to be called um, Cut Apart Magnets is what they are going to be because that's what I've used them for. Um, you know I love making things out of cut aparts. I think they're beautiful and let's not ignore those cute things and use them and make something out of it. So anyway, um, I went on back to the craft section and I'm like, okay, I've got cut aparts at home. You just needed a little piece of wood. So I found these in their little wood section. It was $2.99. You can use a half off coupon, makes it $1.50 for eight, so that's great. Then I also said, well, I need some sheets of magnet. And so I will probably go to Dollar Tree and buy some more magnet, but I just wanted to get this started. Um, but here is the outside of the package or the inside of the package of the ones I purchased today. They're adhesive on one side and you can cut it down and i already had the cut apart so let me just show you quickly how to do this i'm using this collection um, i'm going to be utilizing lots of different collections when i make these because i want them to be encouraging so just remember um, you know when you're making them maybe think about how to encourage someone that maybe you come across with okay so let's just get on with this Okay, so I'm going to utilize this super cute little um, cut apart. It says, Just Pray. And I need to cut this down because my pieces of wood are like two and a half by three and a half. So I want to see how centered I can get this if I just trim it down. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit. It's right here. Now I'm going to line this up with the two and a half over here. And just try to get that adjust prey right in the center. And then I'm going to just slice off the top because I want these to be three and a half. And the reason I want them to be three and a half is because that's the size of the pieces of wood I'm using. So there we go. Just like that. You can you can center it up a little more. I didn't shave too much off of there, so it wasn't already centered. So I think it's just fine. Okay, so now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need the one piece of the wood, and it's super thin, y'all. You're going to need a piece of a magnet, and I've cut this magnet at two and a half by three and a half. And I have a piece left, and I was going to show you how I cut them. So let me grab my other cutter. Okay, so I'm utilizing my big Fiskars cutter. Let me get this over here so you can see. Um, and I want these to be, of course, the piece of wood is actually two and a half by three and a half. So, of course, you want your magnet to be a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to... Oh, I better turn it over. It's sticking on the magnet thing, y'all. It's hard to do. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit below two and a half. And this cuts right off, just like that. Now I'm gonna do a three and a half, or a little bit below three and a half, just like this. And there you go. You got yourself the magnet size that you need. Um, I did get my Fiskars cutter at Hobby Lobby quite a little time ago. So anyway, now all you're gonna do is you're gonna adhere this onto the back of your magnet, or on the base, back of your piece of wood. So just peel it off. If you wanna use some kind of carpet tape or something like that, um, you can do that. But I found that this has got some pretty good, um, pretty good stuff on the back there. And they weren't coming off, so I think it was pretty good. Now I'm utilizing, of course, this cut apart. And I'm just going to use my corner rounder and just round my corners. Oh, and then you're just going to adhere it on here. So I'm just going to use some double sided tape. Put plenty of tape on there. You're gonna center it up the best that you can. And just like that, now, my friends, your magnet is going to work. Check it out, see? And it holds this little piece of wood just fine. Now, it's a little bit raggedy on the edge and I don't have any sandpaper, but I'm gonna invest in some when I get some more magnet sheets. But I was just using a nail file and kind of smoothing down the edge of this because I don't want, looks like a little bit of tape right there. I don't want any raggedy edges where anybody would get a splinter. So just kind of smooth it down. This nail file works just fine. That way then it kind of smoothed it down a little bit more. You can do this before you put the magnet on, but I found I had no problems doing it after. So it's all good. And there we go, y'all. Okay, so now uh, let's just take it a little step further. As you see here, I put them in some little pouches just because I wanted them to be protected when I put them in the craft fair. And so I had a bunch of these. I'm not really actually sure where I got these from. I've had them so long, but they look like they are like three and an eighth by by four. Yeah, so like three by fours is what they are. So, but whenever I pulled them out of my stash, and I'm like, well, let's see if these will work. And y'all, you're gonna you want to be able to protect it because you don't want the magnet to get dirt and stuff all over it. That's why I thought I would put them in a little baggie. I like the clear bags better, but you know, I've already got these and these are gonna work out just fine. See, it fit perfectly down in my little bag. Now I'm just gonna add a little topper and I just cut this one two inches by, by like three and a quarter. So just kind of measure it above your bag. Then I'm going to put some tape. Let's see, what did I do with my other, oh, in front of my eyes, y'all. So all I'm gonna do is just put some extra little tape. You could staple this on if you want, but I kinda don't really like the staples in there. So I'm gonna put, just like this. That way then I can adhere it on. Gonna put it over the top, kind of layer it up. Just kind of find where, find where the crease is. The hardest part, I can't see what I'm doing. I think it's about time to go back to the eye doctor. Go and get stronger eyeglasses. Okay, I'm going down just a little bit because I. It's clear, it's hard for me to see. There we go. Fold it over, just like this. 
I made myself some little crafty magnet little tags um, just so I could put a name on them. Don't overthink this. These are low value items. And I'm just going to go over here and put myself some tape on the back. So I can adhere this down. Just want to have a little bit of prettiness sticking underneath. Take your paper cutter. I'm going to trim off this end. And if it don't move on me, I'm going to slice that up. I'm going to put myself some more tape. Just so it will adhere across the edge of my little topper I made. And my friends, how easy is that? And that's start to finish and even packaging it. Don't overthink it. Don't overdo your packaging because they're low value items. If you put too much in the packaging, you're not going to make any money. Um, anyway, there you go, y'all. How easy and fun are these little crafty magnets. These are actually cut apart magnets is what I'm calling them, but for the craft fair they're going to be crafty magnets. I love them. Look at that. I love it so much. And easy, right y'all? Right. Easy, easy, easy. So I think what I'm going to do for these, I probably will do um, probably three dollars or two for five. I think that's a, a good deal. And you'll make a little bit. They don't take long to make. It didn't take me long to, to do this video to show you guys how to do it. So once I've got my little tags and stuff ready to go, all I got to do is get it all on. So I'll be making tons more of these. I'm going to use up my the wood pieces that I bought. I So I'll have 24. And um, yeah, but I got to go buy some more magnet sheets first so I can finish it up. And then I want to just finish them and be done. Anyway, what do y'all think? I hope that you like these. I think that they are just super cute and a fun little idea. They're great for the fridge. You can give them as co give them to coworkers as gifts. How about a happy birthday on there or something like that? You can give it to someone that says happy birthday or you can just put anything you want. Put a family photo on these. You can just anything. You can make up, make up these little wooden uh, magnets. Put family photos on them. In the sky's the limit, how you what you do with these little pieces of wood that came from Hobby Lobby. So anyway, yeah, go in Hobby Lobby, get inspired, and just look at it and say, "Huh, I could make that." Go home and make it. That's what you do. Anyway, I guess I need to get off here. My husband is actually working today, so I am. I was able to kind of get a little bit of my next craft fire fair idea in, and uh, he'll be home. I'll be home in about two hours so that gives me time to finish clean doing a little cleaning up i need to do laundry oh my goodness y'all i got laundry i did my dad's laundry last night now i need to do my own oh lordy i hate putting it away though um anyway i had a let me just say i had a great evening last night spending time with my dad he and i i brought brought he and i some chinese food and we ate some panda express and we ate it up, and then I, I went to the store, got his laundry going, went to the store and got him a few things, and then we had a little ice cream together and just chatted, and then my siblings, they, a few of them FaceTimed my dad and, and FaceTimed me and all that. That way then they could see him and he could see them, so that's the great thing about having FaceTime on your phone. And um, yeah, then I left this morning and I went by the cemetery to visit my mom. Had myself a nice cry fest. And um, yeah, I miss her so much. Today is three weeks since she's been gone. And it feels like an eternity already. But then I realize it's been three weeks today since she passed away. I'm not sure I'll ever get over it. But you know what? That's okay. I'm not going to get over it because I miss her so much. But I feel like that I am blessed because she is in heaven and she's not hurting no more, so I am good with that. I'm just still going to have my cry fist, though. Anyway, I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome afternoon. 
Thank you so much for watching and thanks for all the new subscribers, y'all. Appreciate you, every one of you so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye.